Hey, what's up everyone? We got day two of the build going on. We're gonna start here by building the box that is going to uh, be the bottom portion of the frame and then the slide out will, be, will fit inside of that box as kind of like a sleeve. And so uh, we've actually decided to go a different route with the sliders. We're gonna put them on the underside of the box. So the box frame will come down like this and then we'll have the sliders on top of the box frame and then the actual slide out will be uh, attached to that and slide in and out and then we'll just have guides like little channel guides to make sure that when the the, the uh, slot pop out gets pulled out then it'll be good to go so we're gonna go ahead and start that now it's not gonna take very long and we'll get everything on film so you guys can see all that we've accomplished here on day two so here we go All right, so we're gonna change things up a little bit. Originally, this piece right here was going to be the part that slid out from the uh, tailgate here, or the, the, the portion that would slide out over the tailgate from like here coming out. Instead, now since we're going to put those sliders on the bottom side here and have the drawer system pretty much come out this way, what we decided was to use that as the subfloor because it fits perfectly in between the wheel wells for the short bed Tacoma here with the bed rug that I have. And then this, these pieces here fits perfectly on both sides. And what that will do is that's gonna help build the cabinet system that we're gonna put up here. And then there's gonna be a cabinet over here as well that comes up and comes up to the, where the topper little uh, attaches onto the truck bed. So a little bit of a change and um, we're really confident this is gonna work out well. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit more of a solid build than what we had originally planned. And so we're changing as we go, but taking notes on everything and making sure that we have it for y'all. Okay, so I wanted to update y'all on what we're doing. Uh, we decided to go ahead and change up the plans just a tad bit. Instead of having the box like this, we're gonna have the box be the entire width of the bed. And the slide out portion is gonna be 24 inches. And then the bench back there, that's gonna be the removable portion that's gonna come down here and make sure the bed's all level, is also gonna be 24 inches wide. And so what's gonna happen is the 24 inch slide out is gonna come out here on these Heavy, heavy duty sliders, we're actually gonna have three of them. That way it's like this. And uh, with the, uh, there we go. With the bench back there, that will be a removable, basically pad or, or section that will come back and it will replace the portion here that slides out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put spacers in there. This is just the subfloor. We're gonna put spacers in there, make sure the bed portion that comes from the back rests on these and that way when this goes back in it goes back in 24 inches and these will be set back in probably I'd say about 26 inches and there will be two inches here for that portion to rest on and then when this slides out that 24 inch piece will just come in and replace it and that way the floor is continuous. So we're going to go ahead and cut those two pieces and then we'll probably go ahead and, and after that um, bolt it or screw it into these and start figuring out the the dimensions of it. Then once we have that slide portion in, we're gonna build the uh, box on both sides, and then we're just gonna taper it up around here to make sure that the window uh, uh, 
uh, deals here that when it closes, that these don't, don't catch on it. So a um, little bit of a change that compared to what our design was yesterday, but this is gonna give me even more space on the inside. And even just the width of just another, you know, half foot on either side is gonna be, it's gonna be beneficial for me and I, it's just gonna be more comfortable. So we're gonna go ahead and get cranking on this and uh, get those two pieces cut and then we'll, we'll come back and show you how that works out. So we're done with the build for the day. We've got a lot accomplished and I want to show you all how this is going to work. We've got the slide system complete. We're going to build the box probably tomorrow. And today what we, what we accomplished, we accomplished uh, three things. We got our subfloor in. We were able to get the slide in. Then the bench back there, that's actually what's going to be pulled forward when I slide this out. It's going to make the bed complete all one level. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hop in here real quick and show you how to transform, how I'm gonna transform that. But first I wanna close the tailgate and show you how incognito this will be. So, you know, it's not, you can't tell there's anything built inside there. I've got really good tinted windows. I'm probably gonna tint them a little bit more, but then opening this up will expose the area where I'm gonna sleep. So I'm gonna hop in and show you guys how this is all taken care of. Okay, so during the daytime, I'm gonna build it to where the cabinets on both sides have a groove to where this can just slide into that and this rest up against the groove. And that way it'll keep the, the back of the bench in place, but this is gonna be removable. And when this opens up here, oh, would you mind getting that light? Thank you. So when we open this up here and we pull the slide out area, the way to make the bed is just to remove the back bench and slide it in here. And it fits perfect. And so that way we've got a, a level bed, a level area to, to make our sleeping quarters. And it just, just is, it's all like a, you know, a component system bed for the bench. And then over here, we're gonna figure out some sort of cabinet system that even though when that slides in and slides back out, maybe we could have something that folds down and then folds this, uh, this, this floor portion into, into place I wanted to have this area over here that's by my inverter. I want to have the, the, some sort of charging station. So I may do like a goal zero 150 for the meantime until I do a secondary battery system in the truck. But eventually the end goal is to do the secondary battery system for, for two reasons. One, well three actually. One, it charges when I drive and I drive every day during the trail season so I can have a, a fully charged secondary battery, a deep cycle battery. Number two, there's lots of amp hours in those. You can get a really good battery which can pretty much power anything that you have in here. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of electronics, so I really don't need a, a huge battery for that. But number three, and the most important thing, is that if my, if my primary battery goes dead, the secondary battery can jump my vehicle and get it started. And so being solo and by myself, there was one time last year where I got stuck in the back country with a dead battery for two days. So I don't want that to happen again. Uh, but I'm very pleased with this. Um, in the morning when I'm done sleeping, and I wanna go ahead and Get the truck all squared away for the day. I can just pull this in like this, hop out, shut the tailgate, and we're good to go. So uh, I think tomorrow what we'll work on, like I said, we'll work on the, the box for this. It's gonna come all the way to the side so we'll have maximum room and maximum space given the, the dimensions that we have. And then we'll start building the portion that goes up top here. We'll build a weather sleeve to make sure that when it comes out, it's airtight or, or waterproof, not, not necessarily airtight, but just waterproof and just protects me from the elements. And then we're gonna spend a lot of time on the interior to make sure it's dialed in and really comfortable. So I'm really pleased with how this is, how this is going. We're, we're ahead of schedule as to where I anticipated we'd be right now, uh, but we still have a lot more to go. So we'll probably, I would imagine probably four or five more videos and this coming weekend, uh, probably Friday or Saturday, 
I'll go out and do a test run in this and just kind of see how it works. And so we're going to get it all dialed in with the bare basics. I'll go out and do a test run overnight, see how it works, and then come back and make the appropriate adjustments as needed. So thanks for watching, and we're not done yet, but it just sure is fun. I'm really pleased with how things are coming along.